What was it you wanted to talk about, Billy Joe? Uh, well, sir, I've been uh, muddling this thing over in my head for quite some time now, you know, and I, I finally reached a, a decision. Billy but it Joe, ain't that I'm ungrateful or anything. I haven't got all day. Yeah, I know. Well, it's it's about my uh, job here at the, at the coop. What about it? Well, I was thinking, Mr. Shaw, you know, uh, you could probably find somebody who could do my job even lots better than me. Well, what do you mean? Well, well, just take a look here. I mean, here I am, and it's been four hours after sunup, and I'm still trying to work here, and I'm tired as a dog. Are you trying to say that you've got more than you can handle? Oh, well, no, sir. That, that ain't what I'm saying. Then to get to the point. Yes, sir. Well, Mr. Shaw, what I'm trying to say is, uh, all I'm saying is, uh, I want to quit as of today. As of today? Well, now, now, there ain't no hard feelings here, and there's nothing personal oh, no. here at all. No, no, of course not, of course not. And I, I knew you'd understand. I mean, you're a reasonable man, you know. But, um, but what do we do without you, Billy Joe? After all, we've just extended your job responsibilities, and... Oh, well, uh, beg your pardon? Well, now, didn't Bernie tell you about the project I wanted you to work on for me? Oh, yeah, but that's exactly what I'm talking about. See, I'm sure you could find lots of guys who could do a whole lot better than me and line up girls for you, you yeah, know. Yeah, but I want you, Billy Joe. Oh, well, well, Mr. Shaw, I'm real flattered about that, but, uh... And besides, you owe us. I owe you. And uh, how do you figure this? Oh, now, don't tell me you've forgotten, Billy Joe. Now, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have a job here at all. Now, don't you know that it's illegal for a jailbird like you to work in an establishment that serves alcohol? We had to grease a few palms for that. Well, you can quit greasing palms, because I'm quitting, you know? And I got some news for you. I ain't a jailbird anymore. No? No! I want to get me a job. I want to get me a job at one of them filling stations. I want to settle down and take care of my wife and my baby that's coming. I see. What about your client, Elena? I'm still her manager. We, we got a business arrangement on that, too. Just that I'm going to have to take care of my family somehow until her career takes off. Hmm. Sounds like you got a lot of big plans, huh? That's right. Well, you can plan on this, right? There's no way you're going to quit. We're paying you a lot of money, and I'm going to see to it that you earn it. And you will, if you know what's good for you. What's good for me, Mr. Boss Man, is that I quit this place. And I'm going, because you don't have anything to do about it. Oh, well, maybe I can't hurt you. But I can see to it that your pretty little wife has her face all rearranged. I stormed out of my office last night before your little movie was over. Shh! You keep that down. I tried calling you here several times. You're not trying to avoid me, are you? I wasn't here. I was driving around trying to talk myself out of killing you. Did you talk yourself out of it? Yes. You're not worth it. I want those prints, Chris. I want every one that you have, and I want them today. No way. They are mine. Paige. I paid for them. Not the one I was showing you last night. That one belongs to me. Look, we made a deal. And if you think you're going to double-cross me... You'll go to the police? Yes. That's a possibility. It's a lousy idea, Paige. Now, what happens when the police chief picks up the phone and calls the wheelers and tells them that... Their lovely daughter-in-law starred in a porno flick. How do you think that would make them feel? Did you come to Houston to make a legitimate movie? Or to blackmail me with that film? Oh, I came to Houston to make a legitimate movie. But that takes money and I don't have any. Now, you don't seem to be too concerned with helping me raise any funds, so I thought that that film might provide a little... incentive. Look. Even if I could get the money, do you think I'd trust you to give me those prints now? I trusted you once before, and look what happened to me. Yes. Yes, you've got a point. But then you don't have any choice, do you? Hi there, 
there, Billy Joe? Hi, Lena. Well, what's up? You sure look down in the dumps. What's the matter? Oh, ain't nothing the matter. I'm just fine here. There's nothing bother me at all. Oh, yeah? Billy Joe, you have got to be the worst liar in the world. Well, maybe I am, but I'm, I'm feeling fine. See? <laughs> well, what is wrong, Billy Joe? Everything, man. Chris, Bernie, it's this whole place. Now, wait a minute. I, I thought you liked working here. I mean, it gives you free time during the day to do all those manager-type things that you do for me. And the money's good. Oh, the money's great. It's what you have to do for it that stinks. Like what? Nita told me. She told me, man. She said, watch out, man. But did I listen? No, I go right ahead and do it, man. What? Me and Nita, we, we made an agreement. She said she'd come back and live with me if, if, if I quit this place and... Uh, well, she told me, as long as I keep on working here, man, everybody's going to think the worst of me, including her. Well, you can't blame her for that, Billy Joe. And hanging out with the likes of Chris and Bernie. Wait, does that mean that you're going to give up managing my career? Oh, no, darling, no, not, no, definitely not. Honey, I'm just going to get a different job, that's all, a better job. And uh, only, uh... Only what? I can't quit it now. Why not? Bernie and Chris, man, they got different plans. They want me to line up girls for the next porno epic. What? That's right. Now you know the whole picture. And it ain't a pretty one either. But how can Chris stop you from quitting? By threatening to hurt Nita, if I do. No. No, he wouldn't do something like that, would he? In a second, he would, Sugar. That dude is serious. He'd do it in a second. I cannot believe that, that Bernie and Chris expect you to line up girls for their porno movies. Awful. Yeah, it's awful, all right. But as I say, that's life. Well, did you tell Nita about it? No, I didn't. I but don't want you her to hear it either. Billy Joe, if her life is in danger. No, it's not in danger. But you said. I got a plan, Lena. Oh, that's just great. That makes me feel better. What is it? I, I, I just got a plan. Don't you worry about it. Yeah, but I've had enough of your plans, Billy Joe. I mean, every time you even tell me that they, they, go, they go wrong. This job's going to be different. It's, it's, it's going to work out perfectly. You, you'll see. You'll see. Now, what, what are you doing here? Come on. Now, you got me upset. You got nothing to be worried about. I'm telling you, I want to take care of everything. That's exactly what I'm worried about, Billy Joe. Look, I am involved in this thing, too, you know. Why do you think Bernie put those pasties and G-strings in my costume box? All right, all right. I no, don't, don't all right me, Billy Joe. Now, look. I'm one of those girls that they wanted you to line up for one of those dirty movies. My life is in danger, too. No, I'm telling you, honey. Nobody's life is in danger, you hear me? Nobody's life is in danger. In fact, I'm going to see to that right now. <laughs> 